Greetings After Effectsers. I just wanted to make a simple video to show a basic understanding of the range selector tool found in the text menu. Okay, so I've done a simple animation on this bottom line of text, which just, okay, it just drops in. All right, so I've animated this with the position, not the position of the layer, the position that's found in the transform menu, not that one, but the position from this menu here, animate. Okay, I've gone into here and I've chosen position. Okay, and there you go. And here I've got position, which I can move up and down. Okay, or left and right. Okay, so, just, so I just moved it up so that when it's inside the range selection tool, it has the position I've changed within this menu, so it's higher. When it falls outside of the range selection tool, it reverts to its original position, okay? Because it's fallen outside of the range. So if you imagine the range selector has been like a box, so this red box here, okay, is a kind of graphical representation of the range selector. So when the text is inside the box, it has the animation, Okay, here's the keyframes for the range selector. So we start at zero, being the left hand side, and the end is at 100%. So when I keyframe this start to reach 100%, it's all the way over this side. So there's no box left. Okay, and then our range selector has vanished, and all the text is back in its original state okay so I could add more things to this I can go and add say a blur okay and if I blur this okay it's all completely blurred because at this point we've got the start at zero and the end at 100 so our box is a hundred percent on okay and then as it starts falling outside the box okay there we go. Our text reverts to its original format. Okay, so that's what the range selector is doing. All right. So if I remove these keyframes, I could keyframe the end instead. So I've got the end at 100%. So if I wanted to write from right to left, I just keyframe it the other way. Okay, and I can add more things to this. So I could also add onto this range selector. Um, let's just do something like skew. Okay, so I could uh, skew it and just really sort of twist it round in a big way. Let's do my skew axis. There we go. And then it's going to drop in with a slant. So anything inside the range selection will have these three properties applied, position, skew, and blur. When it falls outside the box, it reverts to normal, okay? And the beauty of this is I can then take this, if it's something I want to apply to other layers or other compositions or in other projects, I can save it as an animation preset, okay? So here I go to animation, save animation preset, so I'll call it as previous one. I've got blur skew position. Okay, so I could save it, save that. Yeah, I'll replace that. Okay, so if I take this animator off and just go to my effects and go to my user presets, blur skew position, I can drop this onto my text layer, any text layer. And we've got our animation. So it's a great way to save an animation you've made for use in other projects. Okay, so that's just a very basic run through of what the range selector is and how it can be used. And there's lots more things you can play about with to create more complex animations. But I think this is just a nice way to introduce um, a great tool in After Effects. So thanks for watching. Cheers.